Hey guys, it is Brody and Jake <laughs> and Todd yeah. here. We are having a rough day because we are going through pacifier withdrawal. So that talk about uh, a rough time. But anyway, yes, we are boys. We're going to talk Netflix today. All right. So let's dive in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's been interesting. Thanks for bearing with us. I like to bring them on there and. Uh, and get them on the videos every now and then. But, you know, it's been a tough, tough road for them, kind of breaking that habit of the pacifiers. And, you know, it's it, it's not just babies and toddlers who have to break habits. We always, you know, as we go on through life, we always have to, to break habits. And um, one I know that I've struggled with and I've overcome is this idea of getting into a trade too soon, okay? You know, we're all conditioned to wait for pullbacks, whether it's through moving average or trend line or whatever. But you know, how many times do you buy the pullback and then that's the exact low and then the market goes up or, or you sell a rally and then the market goes down? Not very often. Okay, I think most of us try to work on this game, which is patience. I'm trying to break this habit of getting in too soon. Okay, that's why I love Elliot. It's because it gives you a context or a framework uh, where you'd expect the correction to end. It forces you to be patient so you're not too kind of, you're not too anxious, uh, too quick to get in the trade. So here's what I'm talking about Netflix. And this was the title of the video I sent out. You know, I hope you didn't get Netflix today. Here's why. Okay, we've got a beautiful wave one up, down in two. We went to the perfect wave three fib resistance zone. You've got the 200% the um, extension of wave uh, two, an ongoing three. And you've got the 161% relationship of wave one and wave three. So, I mean, that's just textbook. Pulling back in wave four. Okay, now... Wave fours are, 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 are designed to kind of torture you. They go sideways, they get real choppy, they don't go anywhere. Um, they're really meant to kind of bore you or chop you uh, to death in the market. So what we usually expect is a triangle pattern, okay? So being that fourth waves are usually long and drawn out, and wave twos are simple to the point like this one was, you would expect wave four to last at least as long as wave two did in time. Okay, so I've done that relationship for you here. 100% time relationship of wave four compared to wave two is December 16th. Okay, so what that means, don't be entering longs unless you're really scooping the low prior to December 16th because you're probably still in the correction. Ideally, we get out to December 23rd and even after um, Christmas on the 29th. That's your ideal stopping point for the wave four in terms of time. What about price? Same deal, guys. 0.618 is going to be um, shallow. Let me just change that. 0.618 is a little shallow, 24 and 3 quarters. 100% is ideal, down at 119, 1272. And we can even get down to the 1618, but no, the wave one high is over here, 115.64. So we really shouldn't get below too much 118, too much below 118. So that's going to be the ideal price and time window. Let me just do that for you real quickly here. Uh, looks like. It's going to be minimum 100% down into that zone right there, show fill. Okay, so that's going to be your ideal stopping point for wave four. Now, implied volatility is pretty cheap right now in, um, in Netflix. Uh, it's at 34%, so we'd want to be buying options, deep in the money or, uh, or call spreads. Uh, you wouldn't, be, wouldn't want to be selling premium with, uh, with stuff that cheap. Um, also, we are still holding the GMCR. Those of you who saw the free video yesterday, um, I have a small piece left in that trade. We were long. Uh, we had a call ladder going out for the buyout. So I'm holding just a small piece left of that trade. And I think it was like a 3,700% return on those options. <laughs> so uh, we had a lot of happy customers today. So that's cool. Um, guys, if this video helps, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, in the YouTube window, helps us rise up. And I uh, appreciate that very much. See you guys.